Hey sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. Today's video, I'm just sharing with you a day in the life. So that's gonna have some my motivation, cleaning motivation, and just kind of what we're doing for the day. We just got back from school. So after school, we were gonna go to the farmer's market, see what we can find for some veggie plants. And then, um, I don't know what, we're else, what else we're gonna get into today, but I'm gonna show you the garden and I'm gonna show you some of my plants as well. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. Just hit the end of the road. To start off today's video, I am going to be sharing some cleaning motivation. We have school this morning, so before we leave for school, I like to try to tidy up the house a little bit so that way when we come home, it is just lunch time and then it is relaxed time, quiet time for the kids after that, and if they fall asleep, that's great too, but I just like to have the house a little bit tidy before we go. That doesn't mean I get everything done, but I usually try to at least make my bed, clean up the living room a little bit, and do the dishes, and then wipe off the counters if I have time. Everything else can wait till later, but I'm going to go ahead and make my bed and then just get some dishes done and things like that. And when I say school, my kids aren't actually in school yet. My daughter does go to school this fall. but once a week there is a play and learn at a local school so it is somewhere where you can take kids up to the age of five and they have learning activities as well as playing activities and they can get together with other kids and other moms are there as well or parents sometimes it's grandparents or dads but either way there's a parent there with the child and you get to go for about an hour and a half and just kind of get them ready for school and they can experience the environment that they will be in. So we have our last session of that today. Since school is coming to an end, that means Play and Learn is coming to an end for the summer and we'll be able to resume again in the fall. But we're excited to go today and then we're also going to go to the farmer's market and I want to get some garden planting done and share that with you guys. So I hope today's video will give you some motivation and inspiration. Wish you the best and say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does Oh baby, bye It's for the best and you know why You gotta leave me here right now Before we make this even worse It's gonna hurt Myself that maybe he ain't worth it. Too bad I hate advice. Cause out of sight and out of mind is perfect. It's so hard to decide. Oh, I know he got me good in his pocket. I know that I missed a treat.
I don't know about you guys, but the pollen is so bad here that literally everything is green. Everything has a whole layer of green on it, so we're going to run through a quick car wash, get all that green off the car, and then we are going to go to the farmer's market. At this point, we are already done with play and learn, but we're just going to go ahead and kick off the rest of our day. Okay, so this is pickling cucumbers. It has a trellis. You can see here, pickling cucumbers. I want to do lots of pickles this year, so I got those. I got some oregano and some parsley, as well as some kale. And then I got some these are yellow Spanish sweet onions and some um, basil. Needed some basil, so I got some of those. I got two of the onions, and then I got two of these lady bell bell peppers. I believe this is just a regular. Yeah, this is just regular cucumber, like salad cucumber and then this one last but not least is going to be yellow squash I have zucchini that was started from seed so yellow squash so that is all the plants that I'm going to be planting um, it looks like we have one more night that it could get too cold and then we can plant so I also ended up grabbing this four count of Roma tomatoes so we're gonna have four Romas, and then I got this little bundle of lavender. I'm just so excited for this year's garden and to be able to harvest it at all. We do live in the city portion of our town and um, we don't have a lot of land where we are, but I'm trying to make this little space we have our little homestead in the city until the Lord provides a way for us to have an actual homestead which is our dream but one day hopefully soon that will happen but for now we are making this space our little homestead in the city trying to just grow as much of our own food as possible and be able to preserve it you guys know i love canning and preserving food and so i'm so excited to see what i can get from the garden this year and what i can preserve so I just wanted to give you a little overview of the garden. We have the pickling cucumbers over there off to the side. And then over here we have yellow Spanish onions, one on each side and in the middle will be a tomato plant, which you've already seen me plant those, but you'll see that again in a second. We have some zucchini and squash. We have two zucchini plants and one squash. And then I thought I was buying broccoli, but I ended up buying cauliflower. So we got cauliflower and kale. We have two of the lady bell peppers. So we'll have two big pepper plants to get some harvest off of. We also have some peppermint. And then this is another cucumber plant. And then I have one big beef tomato plant. And then in that extra section will be some spinach and two more Roma tomatoes. Down here I have parsley and basil and oregano and then um, I will be adding some cilantro to that as well. But then we're just going to go ahead and give the garden a good drink after everything is in, all of the plants are in, and um, this, there are some seeds in here as well for spinach. Those haven't come up yet, but the rest of it is all in, so I'm going to go ahead and give everything a good watering and a good drink, and I'm just so excited to see the harvest from everything this year i know it's not a huge garden our space we have here is three foot by eight foot there are two three foot by four foot beds um put together but we can't tell the land where we are so we're just working with what we have i just want to thank you for joining me on today's video i hope you guys enjoyed coming along for the day some cleaning motivation as well as just seeing what we do for the day and some gardening but until I see you in the next one, if you're in need of prayer, please leave it down in the comments. I would love to say a prayer for you, and I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye, y'all.